What is up guys, welcome back to the Commander's Lair, it's Joey here again with another deck tech. Um, today I'll be showing you my Livan deck tech. So this is, uh, it's sort of like partner, if you guys haven't seen the new theme that I do a video on it, if you want to check that out, just check the channel. Um, so basically you, you have your commanders that can pick a background. Um, and so how that works is effectively, so certain commanders have a thing printed on them that allows you to pick backgrounds. Uh, and if you do, basically, that you can pair them and you can kind of change the colors and just kind of form the deck around both of them. So it's sort of like having two commanders-ish. So anyway, basically, Livan is uh, is Livan, Cultist of Tiamat. It's two and a red for a 1-3 legendary creature, Dragon Shaman. When you cast a non-creature spell, target creature gets plus X or so until on turn, where X is that creature's mana value, or X is that spell's mana value, sorry, and then choose a background. So the background I've chosen is Hardy Outlander. It's one and a green for legendary enchantment background. Commander creatures you have... Uh, you won't have. Whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent had more life than that player, another target creature you control gets plus X plus X, where X is that creature's power. So basically, Xenagos is, or Mr. Orfeos, whatever you want to call it, doubles the mana, so it doubles the uh, power and toughness of a creature until a turn, um, f as long as they're attacking the player with the highest life. So you don't want to have the highest life. Basically, what that's going to do is, we're going to play this as kind of a chaos element, just kind of, you know, almost political-esque, saying, oh, I'm attacking, you know, you, every turn all we're going to do, or at least the fun way I think to build this deck, you don't have to do this, you can just play it regularly like a Voltron deck, is basically um, attack whoever has the highest life total every single turn to get this trigger and pretty much just knock them down a lot. And so what we're going to be doing is, I, if originally I wanted to go for an enchantress theme, just playing lots of enchantments, however I ended up swapping and it's more of a kind of big mana deck and it kind of does both to pump up your creatures to go for the win. So first off, just talking about this removal, I wanted to kind of give it, because it's this really interesting stint of removal in this deck. So Armor of Thorns is great, it's one and a green, for, uh, you may, it's an aura so you may cast it as uh, though it had a flash, if you do though, uh, if you cast it any time, sorcery couldn't have been cast if you cast it at, at instant speed. Uh, the control is sacrificed at the beginning of the next uh, end step. So, an enchant non by creature, and enchant creature gets plus two plus two. So, we can either play this for two mana, bump our creature off by two, and give it the two. Uh, extra mana creature from Livan, um, or obviously we can play an opponent's cr uh, creature as removal, so it's modal, we can bump our creature or kill our opponent's creature. So both w uh, options are really great there. Bloodfire Infusion is a really cool board wipe, it's two and a red, so it triggers for three mana off uh, Livan, uh, so you can uh, you can cast it uh, only on a creature you control, and you can pay a red and sack it to, or sack the enchanted creature, and Bloodfire Infusion deals damage to, uh, it, it, it to the, equal to the enchanted creature's power to each creature, so this is really useful because basically our commander is probably going to be the biggest creature at the table, most likely at least, especially if we use it after we've attacked. So if the board's just getting a bit scary, you can just use this as a really easy board wipe to just kill everything. Um, and just kind of, you know, make sure that even after we've attacked, we can still get value out of it. And the Divergent Transformations is a lot of what we're going to be doing in this deck is basically, so it's six and a red for an instant, but it hasn't daunted, so it costs one less for each opponent. Basically, that's what we're going to be doing is casting spells that, you know, cast for less manager than they should. So this thing CMC is seven, but we're only going to be casting it for four mana. Um, and so it exile two creatures for each of those creatures, the control reveals top, uh, uh, reverse cards of the top card of their library until they reveal a creature card, put on the battlefield, they shuffle to the library. Basically, this is obviously a lot worse than a reality shift, but it is kind of interesting. Uh, it adds a bit of fun to the deck. As I mentioned, we're playing a bit of a chaos with that hardy outlander. So basically, we're going to, you know, they're going to get a creature off the deck, but hopefully it's not going to be worse than what you killed. Also, four mana to exile two creatures are really great rate. And then just under Blasphemous Act, I wanted to mention it real quick. Obviously, we all know what this is. It's eight new uh, red, costs one less for each creature on the battlefield, and deals 13 damage for each creature. So this is obviously it's always going to be one mana. Uh, one mana board wipe is amazing, but also it's going to be one mana. Give your commander plus nine, plus nine, and then destroy everything so your commander probably won't even die. It's just a really useful modal kind of removal card that can do lots of things and pump up our, our commander massively while also um, basically destroying everything else. So while though Livan is sort of one of those commanders like Corvold, obviously not as powerful, but kind of, it just, whatever it does, it just has it on, you have it on the battlefield, it just gets so much additional value from every little thing that we're trying to do. Incrementally, it just gives you massive increases, but there are some cards that are playing just for that value. This card's like Skittering Invasion, it's seven generic for a tribal sorcery Eldrazi. Put five O one one uh, Eldrazi spawns with the battlefield, where they have sacrifice this creature, add one mana to your mana pool. So basically, what we're going to do is sacrifice them all to get the mana back, but we only get five instead of seven, obviously. Basically, this is going to be seven mana and give a creature, give your commander plus seven, plus seven with, until end of turn. Also, oh, plus seven, plus O oh, with Levant's ability. That's all we're playing this for. 
just that obviously we can use it to store mana if you really need but basically what it's going to be is two mana just pump your commander massively uh similar with volcanic Sal uh, salvo it's 10 red red for sorcery so it's 12 mana in total spell cost x less to cast for x to the total power of creatures you control so hopefully with live mana already buffed up a bit um this could, this will turn into a one-shot kill on any player because we're going to buff them up then it's going to hopefully cost it's going to be free hopefully um so two red mana at least um to give you uh, commander plus level stroll so hopefully this is going to be just punch through and win the game with this card uh, and then it also deals x6 damage to each creature so to each of up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers so a nice little removal spell for hopefully just two mana and a, a, a game ender and then reshape the earth this is the most expensive card in the deck it's six green 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 for sorcery so it's your library for up to 10 land cards put them on the battlefield tap then shuffle your library the reason i put this in here because basically i did want to have some you know kind of synergy with the uh big mana spells but i think this card is just so incredibly good it's going to be give your command plus nine plus oh and then get 10 land cards oh, basically you're going to win the game immediately either straight away or the turn after with this card i just think it's ridiculous and basically there's no way that you're not going to win uh, and I just think that's going to be really useful because it's a sick one for winning either way. So as I mentioned though, I was originally going an Enchantress route with this deck and or just at least auras, auras kind of buffing up. And so there's no data out for this on EDH Rec or on the planet. planet. I haven't found a single article yet of this commander, at least this combination. Um, so it was really hard uh, to build this deck and I kind of changed my themes halfway through because I figured it might be good. Um, I did kind of keep some of the cards though because I think both themes go, kind of go in tandem and can work really well with each other. So cards like Decree of Savagery is Decree of Savagery is is more of the big mana spells it's seven green green put four one one counters on each creature you control with cycling four green green uh whenever you cycle it you may put four one one counters on target creature you control so only one but basically this is to cycle for six mana discard it draw a card nice kind of additional value there give your commander four one one counters that are permanent and then plus nine uh, plus nine plus oh for one turn so basically this is going to be 13 extra power for nine mana discard a card draw a card four of that stays permanently just to, honestly i i really like i love this card it doesn't work too well in generally single target single creature decks like Voltron decks but I just think it works well on this one and I think it'd be nice to try it out for that massive boost of 9 mana could really do something otherwise aggression is kind of the one the more basic one it's 2 and a red for an enchant creature target non wall creature gains uh, first strike and trample and the end of the control destroy that creature if it did not attack so this is an aura so it stays on the battlefield so we're not going to have to worry about that we're going to attack every turn obviously again this kind of plays into even more into that chaos element with hardy outlander kind of saying oh I have to attack right my aggression is going to kill me if I don't attack um so it works really well with that just kind of attacking every turn two mana or three three mana for first strike and trample is not a bad rate just getting those keywords on there to make sure we can always power up through for damage and then cards like mantle of the wolf is really nice incremental value it's three in a green for an enchant creature gets plus four plus four so four mana for plus four plus four is not bad obviously tell me played it's going to be plus eight plus four which is really useful as well it really easily get through with damage especially if you have trample from cards like aggression and then when it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield create two 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 green wolf creature tokens so just nice you know we don't run too many creatures in this deck so it's really useful to get that you know extra blockers and whatnot kind of keep our board safe if somehow our commander does die which would be really unfortunate and lastly kind of playing to that aura theme a little more if you wanted to course with all these auras you could play enchantress effects i found a lot of them weren't too cheap so i didn't put them in here especially because it's kind of you know situational draw um but but and also sorry um yeah so basically cards like canopy cover is nice it's one in the green for an aura enchant creature can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach so effectively it has four, so it basically gives our creature flying and it can't be the target of spells or abilities you can try to control so two mana for flying and hexproof is honestly quite nice uh the hexproof is great because that's what we're doing here we're trying to protect that creature and the flying is just nice for punching through for more damage if we can't get trample on the board troll hide is similar it's two in a green for an enchant creature it gets plus two plus two and it has pay to and regenerate this creature so regenerate basically the next time it would be destroyed it isn't and instead you tap it and then remove all damage from it and remove it from combat so that is unfortunate but it can protect us from a board wipe or something if we need to while also giving us a nice little buff which isn't which isn't too bad either so it's going to be five plus five plus so the first time it comes out and can have a long lasting kind of a protection effect which is useful obviously in voltron because your command is going to die a lot thank you guys for watching i did want to mention before i get into anything else that i did not go through the card draw on this deck because it's playing basically really really similar card draw to what i've been posting a lot of my other decks um if you want to check that out you can otherwise just check out the links in the description of those decks as well if you don't want to watch the whole video it's just cards like harmonize and then uh cards like uh sorry cards like momentous fall or return of the wild speaker or soul's majesty or Rishka's expertise basically drawing off the amount of power your commander has or target creature has because we're basically we're making our commander bigger and getting payoffs for it so you know if we can draw 10 20 cards which would be really nice for five mana is just a really really useful rate and just great cards 
Um, otherwise, basically, I just wanted to thank you guys all for watching again. If there's any decks or commanders, you know, from Baldur's Gate, you want to see any other commanders, any themes, whatever you want, I'll make you a video. Um, if there's any kind of different video types that aren't deck decks you want to see, let me know. As always, um, and just like, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. And just comment what you think. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all.